Hey, it's the Dice, and today we are going to be building four tiny homes for four different occults. And I don't know what those occults are going to be. Here is a wheel with a couple different occults. Some are like controversial, I guess. Some people might not consider Servo an occult, but I think it would be cool to make like a robotic house. So I put them on the wheel and I'm gonna be spinning it to see what occult we're gonna be building for. To be honest, I'm really hoping we don't get alien. I, I really don't wanna build an alien house. Like, what would that even look like? Anyway, let's spin the wheel right now. Please be something good. I don't even know what I want, to be honest. Just not alien. <gasps> okay, we got vampire first. Was vampire the first occult? No, it was alien. All right, we're gonna remove vampire and let's get started with this first tiny home. So we are on a 20 by 20 lot in Windenburg. I'm gonna build them all on this lot and just save them onto my gallery. I'm gonna upload them all individually so you don't have to download one big lot with four different tiny homes on there. They're gonna be four separate like lots that you can download. Anyway, um, I'm not sure whether I want to go for like a micro home, a tiny home or a small home. I guess let's just start building and see what happens. So vampire, um, I guess, I don't know. I don't really build like occult homes. I play with the cults. I don't really build them. I'm thinking we go traditional. We could go like modern vampire, but I don't know. That's kind of weird. So that would be the center bit. I don't think this one's going to be a micro home. Have one bit going back here. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this one a tiny home. So 64 tiles, maybe like a top floor. Okay, 63, we've got 63 tiles um i don't know how i'm feeling about this okay i was able to get some extra space um oh i can't add this part of the foundation oh okay you know what? we're gonna go with this for now first let's like center it on the lot like so that is not centered okay <laughs> a little bit better all right so we've got this like tower thing going on i'm thinking we do the roofs now a nice tall roof with the eaves out um what do i want to do down here you know what i actually really like this we're making progress guys maybe we should make it a little bit taller this is what we're working with so far subject to change because it's looking kind of basic let's get rid of all of these interior walls and start from scratch with the floor plan oh yeah we need to fit stairs in we could do a ladder that is a shout but what vampire uses a ladder you know what this is a tiny home let's not think too much into this so the front entrance is here maybe i should actually put a door here in my mind vampires are quite wealthy because they've been around for a long time so they've been able to accumulate all this wealth don't ask me what a wealthy vampire is doing in a tiny home but yeah in my mind vampires they're quite like i don't want to say fashionable but they have really good like taste in design and they like things to look expensive unlike a werewolf where their home would probably be very ruggedy and like scratched and everything a vampire would have a very clean space so that is my inspiration okay we entered through here maybe kitchen no kitchen can go over here and then uh maybe like a little breakfast bar area bathroom down here and then if we had can we do l-shaped staircases no that's gonna take up way too much space okay it's gonna have to be a ladder so you climb in through that way and then you get to this floor. This is such a weird floor plan. Like, look at this little gap. I mean, we could do like two bedrooms, a bathroom over here. And then the next ladder goes up this way, up here. And I have no clue what this room would be. Maybe like a little lookout or this could be like a, a bedroom, actually. You could get a coffin up here. Okay. So bathroom here, bedroom, another bedroom, and then down here, kitchen, living, dining, and a second bathroom. Oh, two vampires can live here. All right. I don't think I've ever built a vampire home before, so please do bear with me, guys. Uh, these white windows kind of don't go, but I don't want them in all black because the door and the window up here have white accents, so I might have to replace these ones. I mean, we could go full-on chapel. You know what? 
I don't think it looks that bad. Should I landscape now? You know what, let's landscape now. Get some depressing and almost dead trees up in here. There's not enough dying foliage in this game. Everything's so alive and happy. What about, what about my depressed sims? You know, they just wanna live in a house full of dead plants and I can't do that. Not very well at least, there's not really much other than the stuff in vampires. Or if you wait till winter in the game, all the plants do die, so I suppose you do have that. Get some flowers out the back for the tombstones. I'm guessing these here are maybe family members. And then we've got two humans that we killed and then we've got a human and a werewolf that we killed. So that's a little bit of lore for you guys if you download this house. I didn't like how open and inviting the house looked so I put some fences around. I didn't connect them. I kind of like it. I think they look kind of cool not connected but I put them around so it's like don't come here because if you do you'll probably get eaten. Let me not forget about a mailbox. That wouldn't be good. Where are we gonna put it? I kind of don't want to put it out the front or maybe I should you know I'll put it over here and then we also need a bin sure okay let's let's get inside because I haven't even started on the inside I've been recording for 50 minutes and we're on tiny home one all right inside let's get some flooring some like creepy flooring if that's even a thing maybe some tile Ooh. vampires don't get cold so tile flooring even in the middle of winter would be perfectly fine even though this is technically a tiny home I want it to feel expensive which doesn't make any sense so you come in and you get greeted by like a chandelier <laughs> that would be so dumb or mm, actually the space game one isn't that bad if I move the kitchen over to this side then you can like eat your food and look out this window which could be really cool if I put like a little dining area over there. Do you think Sims will be able to use this little bit as a counter space? Hopefully. I'm gonna have to play test that. And then over here we can have a little dining area. Or would we have a dining area since we're vampires? Would we even have a kitchen? I mean just for funsies we can do one. The door to the bathroom can go there. Oh the seating area. Oh, I didn't think about that. I mean, we could make it like a little cozy reading nook. <laughs> or maybe we swap the living room and dining area around. This table, oh wait, it kind of fits. <gasps> okay, I don't know if a sim is gonna be able to like access this whole area. I'm gonna have to play test that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that, but hopefully um everything can be accessed i really don't know if it can if not we can always get a smaller dining table but this one's really nice okay tv area should i get a fireplace is that like too much oh wait the tvs don't even go on the fireplace are you are you kidding me tvs can't go on that fake fireplace wow get the big boy fireplace no let's not but yeah technically we don't actually need one because vampires can't get cold but just for aesthetic reasons i think it could look very nice yes i'm putting a tv in here because what else is a vampire gonna do we can get a little gramophone um that doesn't place on top of the fireplace i guess that would be kind of dumb yeah no curtains gonna work here all right i think downstairs is done i didn't do the bathroom oh my gosh okay bathroom is done it doesn't have an overhead light it only has wall lights which i think looks kind of cool again i'm gonna have to check if everything works so we finished downstairs oh let me put a fence here we finished downstairs it's looking quite cool now let's head upstairs well look at this hallway we're gonna have to put a door right over here to get access to this room i'm thinking maybe a single parent and their vampire child since i think we will only be able to fit one coffin upstairs where should this door go okay i'm gonna put it here hopefully the sim can access it this is gonna be the second bathroom now maybe a vampire toddler oh wait you can't have a toddler because they can't go up the stairs 
Okay, vampire child then. So possibly carpet. I'm actually gonna bring everything from down here up to the hallway. And I'm just gonna quickly do the bathroom like the one I did downstairs. Super easy and quick. Now, oh yeah, this hallway needs some lights. It doesn't even have a window, so it's very, very depressing. However, I think it'll be fine. Now, child room. I don't know how good of an idea it is to put a chandelier in a child room. Or maybe we could we could do something like this. Yep, yeah, we, we could do that. Oh, bunk bed. Oh, that's such a good idea. So we can fit a desk and a bed. Maybe a doctor's set so the child can learn all the vital points and arteries to feed on. Oh, we definitely need this bad boy. Yeah, get one of these. Yeah, sure. Even though it is a vampire's room, we still want it to have that like childlike flair. So maybe some fairy lights could be cool. Okay, let's head upstairs to the final floor. Let's just bring the flooring up here. Get one of those chandeliers from downstairs. Bring it up here. Now let me see if a coffin actually fits. Should we do cheap, medium, or expensive 6500 simoleons oh my gosh oh that is massive okay it's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze let's do the medium one and it's gonna open which way is it gonna open i can't tell i think it's gonna open this way so if we line this up near the wall hopefully it's accessible i'm really hoping it is maybe a nice little plant sure why not okay i think I really don't think this room needs anything else. So I think we're done. I I might change these vines actually. Definitely gonna have to play test before I put it on the gallery, but yeah. I don't know, I think I like these windows a little bit better. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay. And let's bring back the wheel. Now let's find out what our next occult's going to be. Anything but alien, please, please, please. <gasps> Oh, the vampire's rival. We are doing werewolves. Okay, goodbye, beautiful home. Now, I kind of want this house to look like a shed. And I'm thinking we go a little bit off center since the vampire house was centered. Maybe something like this. Oh, maybe we make a micro home. So instead of a tiny home, we're gonna try and keep it to 32 tiles max. Already like at 28, let's just make this a little bit smaller. You know what? I've done a house for a werewolf before and what I did, I put it on stilts and I really liked how it looked. But do I wanna be doing the same thing that I did last time? Yes, cause it looks amazing. Now let's make you a bit smaller, add a foundation over here. I kind of want a pond as well. That could be kind of cool. I mean, werewolves really don't need much because they can do everything themselves, like pee. They don't need a toilet if you get that perk, shower. They can hunt for their own food. Okay, looks like a little hat, really cute. All right, the front door's gonna go here and then we're gonna have stairs coming this way. Now, front door. Uh, we could use the one from werewolves, but I don't want to like just use stuff from that pack. Let's change it up a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of snowy escape in there. Well, actually this is good. It's quite private, but you can still see who's at your door. Floor plan time. This space is very small. Let's get some lights in here. These are just temporary. We will change them. Bathroom, bedroom, possibly other bedroom, probably not likely, and living area. Since we're probably going to put a window here, I'm guessing this area could be the living space and then this is the entrance though okay we might have to do bathroom here and then dining table little kitchen bedroom or actually no we could do the bedroom like this and then we can have this little corner for like a sofa and a nice little tv where do my stilts go you know what it might have to be like a one person area because there's no i don't think i'm gonna be able to like close it off see this is what i did in the last house that i built i put a platform here and sectioned the like living slash sleeping area from the rest of the house so we could have a bed here or no that's not gonna fit here a bed over here over here and then like a seating area a nice big window a little tv here maybe a bookshelf and then we can have a door over here to the bathroom the kitchen and a dining area here that it just makes more sense for it to be an open space get some cool industrial work going on it could be like a self-sustained 
werewolf probably off the grid makes their own food and their own electricity and water now um inside oh wait the stairs are looking gross oh we can't place it oh you gotta be kidding me why are you doing this to me game if it's a single tile we can do it as soon as we turn it it like lifts up is it because of the platform Oh, I bet it's because of the platform. Yeah, it is because of the platform. That's so dumb. Okay, I guess no platform, which isn't the end of the world, but it would have looked cool. Oh, a few scratches on the ground. Hell yeah. Some like newspapers everywhere. Ew. <laughs> oh, that is so grim. I feel like a fireplace is kind of fitting for a werewolf, even though in the game werewolves don't get cold in werewolf form which is pretty cool however i think a fireplace would be nice especially when you're on your own in the woods and you just need a little bit of comfort a little bit of coziness and then we can have the chairs facing this way maybe one here and then an armchair here maybe this gross chair oh what is like on the seat who peed in that all right the bathroom is done it's pretty nice oh someone was angry having an angry poop now we are officially done with the inside i think it looks great i might get another one of these in here yeah no dining space but that's fine you've got sofas time to work on the outside oh the roof looking a bit crazy oh no 36 tiles when did that happen was that the bathroom you know what the bathroom's going in one we won't have space for a nice Aww. little sink area this is a tight squeeze i know i could use the other shower like one of these but there's nowhere to woohoo on this lot and i feel like you kind of need somewhere to woohoo on every lot is it just me i like to include that so i've got an actual shower because you can woohoo in those all right this might have to come in one more and then move this along. Oh, it's not gonna work again. That's fantastic. Oh, it's not gonna turn around like we wanted to. Damn it. It's fine. That's fine. Um, it's a bit squished up here, but it's the best that we can do. We really wanted to hide the bunk bed situation. So yeah, it's a little bit squished. I guess we could put the bunk bed over here. You know what? It's fine. I'm leaving it. All right, let's get onto the outside. I'm going to move the house back a little bit, like over here. Have this like there. And then how do we want to do the pond? Do we want to do the pond over this way? Or do we want to do it over this way? How do we access the pond again? Oh, here. So we could do it underneath the house. Uh, oh, we've got to do terrain first. It's been a while since I've used like the pond tool. So we could do it underneath the house over here. Or we could do it like around there i think either could look really cool to be honest I, I will start over here and maybe we can have like a fishing spot like on our own lot that could be really cool okay this is good enough um what next oh some gross water hell yeah okay it's not looking too bad i feel like the exterior of the house needs some work we also need a mailbox can't forget that should we put some like workout gear out the front i mean that's what werewolves use right just to finish it off put one of these on here actually like hidden away i'm just gonna put some outdoor lights everywhere i did put a little rug down so they can work out have a little space to work out not sure if it looks kind of awkward it does a little bit but i don't care and i just realized i didn't put any outside lights in the last house anyway back to daytime i think i'm finished it looks pretty good you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down in the comments and let's move on to the next cult we've been lucky the last two times please if we get alien now i'll actually cry <laughs> anything for alien please no 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 mermaid 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 what does a mermaid tiny home look like you know what i'll take it i will take it we have mermaid stuff in the game i will happily make a mermaid house now let's just demolish this bad boy this is like ritual now goodbye and let's get rid of the terrain cool starting from scratch now one thing we need is a pool like that we just need it i'm thinking we do one kind of like up and put windows can we put windows in a foundation we can't can we oh wait it 
it's in there, but you can't see anything. Okay. So for us to do that, we're going to need to take up some floor space. I think we've done a tiny home. We've done a micro home. Maybe it's time for a small home. So if I do this and then we put the pool inside and then we put windows, we can see into the pool. That would be cool because the mermaid will be like swimming and all of that fun stuff. Imagine you have your window open to the pool. <laughs> The water's just leaking out. So if we're gonna go along this idea, oh my gosh, this doesn't count as tiles. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. That works out great for us because we can do this. We can make the pool as big as we want and it won't be added to the tile count. And we can make it kind of modern a little bit. I mean, I'm down for that. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We should do like a corridor. So we have like these windows by the pool, super cool. I might make the pool one wider because it doesn't add to our tile ratio. And then we do kind of like, um, like a corridor. So you're walking down this corridor and it's just like pool. <laughs> It's just pool. So do 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 walking down the corridor and you just see into this pool kind of like an aquarium. Oh, that's so pretty. And you get sunlight because of the sun reflecting through the pool from the top. That could be so cool. Okay, I'm really, really liking this idea. Now, if we, um, we have a lot of tile space left, I might do the floor plan like this. So entrance, front door, hallway, and then off the hallway to the side, we could do kitchen living. Oh, that's a big kitchen living. Okay, kitchen living, but we need an upstairs as well. And then stairs going up and, oh, that's too big. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, living, blah, 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 blah. We walk this way. We could have two doors, one at the front and this could be the back door. And then the back door connects this way. We could put the stairs all the way back here. Maybe have like a hedge vibe going on. So it kind of covers it and it won't actually be technically won't be a room but look at all the floor space it takes up okay we might have to do like how we had before and this could be a cool decking area but the decking area is really small okay this is a very weird shaped house but i see the vision i see it so this house is made up of this concrete material and then this like wood paneling which i don't think wood paneling would be the best for a mermaid's house like with a pool inside but we're doing it anyway we just have bifold doors going into the pool area no i definitely want to use these though i think they're so cool but i yeah there's no space for them okay never mind we might have to do fencing all the way around which i mean doesn't look as cool but it kind of just makes more sense now let's do the floor plan i guess we could just open up this living space Space. if upstairs is going to be the master bedroom okay bathroom over here you know what bathroom like that and then we can get rid we can have like a really really small bathroom in like the corner i guess let's just open up this area let's just open it up and then kitchen living and dining with this amazing view and then bedroom and ensuite bathroom Okay, cool. All right, windows are done. I'm thinking, should I do some windows looking into the pool? I mean, from the outside. You know what? That kind of looks cool. So passerbyers can see straight into our house. <laughs> it is weird, but it's a cool weird. It's like, whoa, look at that house. I can see them in their living room. Cause that looks really, really nice. I actually really like that. Let me get some lights so I can see. What kind of lights? Oh, they're so pretty. Maybe some white brick. I know we don't have brick outside, but no one needs to know. Okay, the inside's really, really cute. Now, I'm thinking kitchen here. Or should kitchen be over here? I don't know. We'll get the door to the bathroom here so we have all this space to play with. Now I'm trying to keep the inside a little bit boho themed. I feel that's very similar to uh, Mermaid's aesthetic in terms of like the aesthetics in game. Boho, in my opinion, sounds like the closest or island. But again, we're trying to make this kind of modern. I kind of wanted to take a modern twist on it. Now I've just finished the living area and the kitchen. The kitchen's looking kind 
kind of bare. Let me just put a little plant in the corner. I really want to fit a dining area here. Maybe like a square one? Yeah, this works. And we can put it right up against the window. Oh my gosh, look at the, the plants from outside. I could possibly even get a long table, actually. Do it like this. Oh, and then you can like look into the pool while you eat. That's nice. And now if we head upstairs, maybe I should put a ladder into the room, like the parent's room, instead of them having to go outside to get into their bedroom. Or should I leave it like this? I don't know. You know what? Let them go outside because they can always sleep in the pool as well since they are a mermaid. I'm gonna take the flooring from downstairs. I'm also gonna take the lights from downstairs. I might as well just take the, the wallpaper as well. Boho theme again. I think there's some really cool stuff that came from the high school years pack. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. So maybe a mermaid couple lives here? We 100% need a fish tank. Maybe even two. Have two pet fish. Should we be extra and do like the lights over the bed? Is that extra? A little bit, but it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do it. When you zoom in, it disappears. But when you zoom out, it's there. Wow, it's so nice in here. Well, this is the bathroom. I mean, not the bathroom, the upstairs. Now this decking, what should we do with you? I kind of think that some chairs would be nice, but do I think they're gonna fit? Probably not. Let's get something nice for the pool. A nice colorway. We could do cherry blossoms. Um, or we could do this super blue like water. It looks really nice. I've already put lights at the bottom of the pool. Now, some outdoor seating. It's very simple, but we don't need anything crazy up here. Okay, this is the mermaid's tiny home. I think it turned out really cool. I think this might be one of my favorites that I've done today. <laughs> now, let's go back to the wheel and spin the last occult. I will be making a tiny home for this video. Quick side note, I changed the windows at the front. I put some looking into the pool, just like as you're walking into the, the house, you just see the inside of the pool. Cool. I thought that was cool. Anyway, that's just a little editorial note. This version will be the one going onto the gallery. So don't worry, you'll have this little cool window feature. Okay, back to normal me. Time to do the last one. We haven't gotten alien so far. Okay, plant sim. I'm down. Let's do a plant sim tiny home. Now, I want to do like a cottage. I think a cottage would be very, very nice. I'm not sure what type of tiny home I want it to be, whether small, tiny or micro. We'll just see as we go along. A greenhouse could be pretty cool. So let's see. Maybe we should use platforms a bit more. So if we do like a platform like so, and we do like the entrance on the side, we have the entrance hall right here, like a little square. Maybe make that a bit smaller and have this bit at the front um like a cool living room space and then a really nice kitchen and then around this side we could do the greenhouse so keeping it within 64 oh we need a bathroom and a bedroom okay we could probably even get two bedrooms in so master bedroom child bedroom bathroom just out here one bathroom maybe even a cheeky ensuite actually no we're gonna save space for more platform just in case we need it like over here we might bring it that way like an l this is not looking like a cottage so far so the greenhouse will be like this or should we do it floral we might do it floral this is not looking like a cottage but that can change we're just gonna throw a bunch of cottage living stuff on it and it should be good now plant sim lots of plants everywhere oh we need a garden we're gonna use our last three or oh, that's too many our last three tiles to get a platform from the master bedroom out into the garden so we can do a massive garden space right that is the exterior done well not like the garden but the landscaping and everything Thing. I think it came out pretty decent. I might put something like around here. One thing I do want to add is some outside lights just like next to the house. Oops. Now I want to put something here. Um, Should I use that one vine? Yeah, why not? Does it clip into the house? It clips into the house. Great. An outdoor seating area could be nice. I'm going to put the rocking chair here. 
and then maybe like just as you enter no maybe i should get like a bird feeder or something that's something a plant sim would have a couple plant pots at the front and then a giant bird feeder if i can find it yeah this a giant bird feeder right there now let's move on inside we've got this entrance way let's put some lights in here so i decided to purchase the blooming room kit now i'm not a kit person i don't like kits i don't like the idea of kits however i thought for the plant sim sim that this kit made sense and there's a lot of cool like pieces in this one. Oh my gosh it just disappears why does it disappear like that anyway i think these lights are appropriate they're kind of low hanging um hopefully no one bumps the head <laughs> they light up the room perfectly though get this platform base sorted that looks nice okay wallpaper i'm thinking green brown and white to be our main colors we could do this but it could get a little crazy we could use it for a feature wall like i don't mind that okay i kind of hate this now what should i change it to though i i don't want to do paneling that looks kind of weird should i just do like plain green wallpaper because i do want green on the walls i mean we could do this or we could do this but i kind of want a little bit of a darker green that is too green should we just use these okay we're just gonna use some cottage living stuff that's fine let's start with the kitchen shall we cute little daint cottage kitchen should we do a yellow kitchen no that's kind of weird a green kitchen of course so we could do it all the way along there i also want like a massive circular table i don't know why circular table gives me cottage vibes just like this is this oh we could do it in the middle but we're gonna have no space for TV or like, I guess we don't need a TV, but like for the lounging area. So let's do it over this way. I need a lot more plants around the place. Oh, I wanna fit this in somewhere. Should we do it over the kitchen? That looks like a safety hazard. Put the TV right in front of the couch. No, this is this is way too sad. We've gotta add some more plants. So we've just got this blank space here. Or maybe we should have like a welcome mat or something. Maybe mud, cause you're coming out of the like greenhouse. That's kind of realistic. Okay, I think we're done with the kitchen slash living slash dining. Let's move on to the bathroom. There's only one bathroom on this lot. All right, super simple. Let's move on to bedroom one. This, I really want it to be a kid's room. Am I gonna do another bunk bed situation? I've done it on almost every house except the mermaid one. It's just perfect for tiny living. You know what? No, we won't do a bunk bed. Let's just do a plain simple single bed let's try and get a dresser in here maybe right at the end something like this that's fine um can i get a desk in here we can try all right desk with a pretty sweet laptop might i add some plants bed dresser some more plants on the wall I think this bedroom looks really cool. Now let's move on to the master bedroom. Now they have two doors, one going to the main part of the house and the other to the back garden. So in terms of like a double bed, we're limited for space. I do want a double bed because I feel like two parents and their child would live here. I might have to shift it to the corner like that or hopefully a sim can walk down this little path here i might just copy the same wallpaper from the child's room oh you know what i could put it in the middle not much space for like a dress or anything but it'll do i have no clue if this room is planty enough but it's what we're going with now back garden we finished the interior time for the exterior i want a flower arranging table some plant pots and that's all I've got so far. First, we need like a path coming from the parents bedroom. Okay, not bad. I would love to put a platform here, but I can't. So, oh my gosh, we haven't done the greenhouse. How can I forget the greenhouse? Honestly, it's one of the easiest things. All we're gonna do is put some platter pots in there. I'm like obsessed with this curtain thing. I just think it's so cool. Okay, greenhouse is done. That was very easy. Back to the outside. I would put a like platform here and like build everything on top of it but that's gonna count as tiles so we cannot do that. We could do like a mini shed and none of the walls connect so that it doesn't count as a room. Not a bad idea and then we can put a roof on top. 
A cute little lamp on either side. Oh, this looks so cozy. Let's get some more plants on this wall. I just made a cute little pathway going from the main like entrance to the fence. I, I think I made it a little bit too wide. Does that look weird? I don't know. Oh, I don't have any trees on this lot. How do I not have any trees? That's literally the one criteria. Have plants, have trees. Okay, this is the house. This is the plant sims tiny home. Don't watch the werewolf tiny home at the top. That was a lot of building. Uh, you guys won't believe me, but I literally recorded for six hours straight building those four tiny homes. So if you did enjoy, it would mean a lot to me if you gave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. My original ID is in the description if you would like to download any of these tiny homes that you saw today. And I will see you guys in the next video.